मैं सर डॉक्टर संदीप कुमार प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी टुडे आई विल डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ सोमेटिक एम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस सोमेटिक एम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस द सोमेटिक एम्ब्रियोज सोमेटिक मीन्स द डिप्लॉयड एम्ब्रियोज वी डेवलप द एम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम सोमेटिक सेल्स द प्लांट बॉडी हैव ए ऑल बॉडीज इज द सोमेटिक सेल्स एक्सेप्ट द गैमेटिक सेल्स गैमेटिक सेल्स तो हियर द फर्स्ट टाइम रिपोर्टेड द सोमेटिक एम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस इन स्टीवर्ड 1958 in callus culture and dinert 1959 reported in somatic embryogenesis in cell cultures or ya suspension cultures here we discuss here the differentiations the differentiation is the uh, differentiation is that the cells single cells undifferentiated cells to develop the organism and change the different different formations in the embryo cells and the development of organism differentiation is two step one is de differentiation and re differentiation de differentiation the organism ya yeah, any organs uh, just like a leaf leaf is converted into callus this is the de differentiation and callus to develop callus to develop the plant is the redifferentiation here the somatic embryogenesis the embryogenesis is two type zygotic embryogenesis and non zygotic embryogenesis zygotic embryogenesis the fusion of two gametic cells male and female cells and develops the zygote a zygote cells the further differentiation and development to develop the seeds seeds here the zygotic embryo the first zygote uh, uh, part in two cells apical and basal cells apical cells further uh, division of uh, mitotic uh, mitotic division and that develops the globular embryo globular embryo just like a balls like and the convert into heart shape embryo heart shape the here the initiations of cotyledony cotyledony leaf just like a leaf and next stage is torpedo stage and uh, next stage is cotyledony cotyledony stage or in zygotic embryo the mature seed mature seeds have the persistent endosperm and then the seed we will germinate in in the field and here we can see the germinated seeds and germinated seeds have the endosperm endosperms the provide the nutrition for the development of uh, germination of seeds and develop the plants here in somatic embryogenesis somatic embryogenesis here the uh, i discuss in previous the embryogenesis two uh, two types zygotic embryo and somatic em somatic embryogenesis in three types one is somat uh, uh, so, sorry non zygotic embryogenesis is three types one is somatic embryogenesis second is endogenesis and third is parthenogenesis parthenogenesis the development of embryo from egg cells this is the seedless plants and endogenesis the development of embryo from uh, male gametophytes and somatic embryogenesis here the somatic embryogenesis somatic embryogenesis the process two process in somatic embryogenesis one is direct somatic embryogenesis and indirect somatic embryogenesis here the in, in induction of somatic embryogenesis here the we required uh, in in vitro development of somatic embryogenesis the first the selection of x plant x plant is the piece of tissue or the organs to develop the cultures here we can use the hypocotyl cotyledon immature zygotic embryo leaf petal sepal any living cells we can use for the initiations of culture in in vitro conditions here the direct somatic embryogenesis and indirect somatic embryogenesis here we can see this is the indirect somatic embryogenesis we first develop uh, the callus and callus the differentiations differentiations due to the induced embryogenic determined cells and for example in the 
indirect somatic embryosis if we inoculate the organ organ to direct develop the embryo this stage is not in shown in uh, this one uh, in callosing formation is not present in the uh, direct embryogenesis here the somatic embryogenesis the single cells the cells is the embryogenic cells here the callus callus we can uh, observe in microscope the callus have two type cells one cells is embryogenic cells another cell uh, second type of cells is non embryogenic cells embryogenic cells just like a globular stage uh, just like a rounded shape and dense cytoplasm and well developed nucleus and non zygote uh, and non embryogenic cells is uh, different shape uh, spherical shape and well developed uh, vacuoles and ill developed nucleus here we required for the somatic embryogenesis is the the cultures and uh, induction of somatic embryogenesis for uh, the embryogenic cells here the embryogenic cells after some times the aggregate the cells at further division mitotic division the cells is aggregated and after 2 to 3 week the change in the all uh, aggregated cells in the formation of globular shape stage embryo then further development is heart shape stage and torpedo stage torpedo we can see here the clear cut cotyledon and the initiations of complex tissue in torpedo shape stage and after torpedo shape uh, stage is the cotyledonary stage cotyledonary stage have the bipolarity of the embryo here the two poles apical uh, ap and radical and uh, plumules and have a two cotyledon uh, we can use as a seeds and we can develop the synthesis seed and germinate uh, uh, germination of this uh, somatic embryo and we can develop the plantlets after plantlets uh, we uh, harding and acclimatization then uh, transfer in the field here the factor affecting of somatic embryogenesis first the nutrition media exogenous hormones evolve gases and light nutrition media media we develops for the culture media have the macro micronutrients vitamins growth regulator growth regulator auxin cytokinin gibberellin abscisic acids and sucrose and ph pH is 5.8 and 5.6 to 5.8. Here, the first point is the composition of cell, the cellular uh, culture medium is critical, particularly the level of sucrose and nitrogen, especially reduced nitrogen. We can use for the initiations of uh, somatic embryogenesis that we can use here the reduced nitrogen. This is the best result for the induction of embryogenesis. Here, reduced nitrogen, ammonium nitrogen, or amino acids is not required for the inductions. The oxide nitrate, nitrogen. This is just like a ammonium nitrate, potassium nitrate alone in high amount is sufficient for the induction of somatic embryogenesis. Beneficial effect of certain amino acids, proline, uh, glutamines, has been. Establish and increase the osmotic concentrations um, by the increased sucrose level or the mannitol and sorbitol. So, mannitol or sorbitol is the reducing sugar, and this is the mannitol or sorbitol, the best result for the embryo development. And the auxin, especially synthetic auxin, 2,4-D dichlorophenoxy acetic acid, appear to the require for the embryo inductions and bud. Uh, but adversely affect embryo development here the cytokinin except creatine suppress embryo and ethylene suppress embryo abscisic acid suppress abnormal development of embryo gibberellic acid and creatine produce the increased frequency of abnormal embryo if we use the gibberellin and creatine and this is the in the development of embryo the here and we can we can absorb in our uh, culture the abnormality is high abscisic acid uh, impact dormancy and help in the formation of cotyledonary stage somatic embryo if we use the liquid media liquid media uh, have here the dissolved oxygen can a 
critical role in differentiations carrot cultures produce somatic embryogenesis 15 per 15% dissolve oxygens while above 16% oxygen level the root are produced here the applications of somatic embryogenesis applications of somatic embryogenesis provide a potential plantlet in the form of somatic synthetic seed yeah somatic seeds somatic seed yeah synthetic seed for the directly showing in the field and the provide the culture system comparable to intact in israel's liquid culture here the advantage of somatic embryogenesis rapid multiplications through production of somatic embryogenesis in cell culture and use the bioreactor for the large scale technology presence of bipolar structure bipolar structure two poles on the embryo uh, plumules and radicals here the bipolar structures in the some unit have a root and shoot and avoid the rooting step requiring organogenesis if we develops the organogenesis organogenesis we require the initiations of root but in somatic embryogenesis no requirement of initiations of root here the somatic embryogenesis grow individually making the uh, system easy to manipulate subcultures and develops scale up methods large scale up method it is possible to induce dormancy or and store the culture for long durations we can store the any stage of the culture for the initiation of embryo and development of embryo and the stage of the uh, cottony stage we can easily store in the uh, deep freezers and uh, in in uh, natural freeze and possibility to encapsulations and uh, the methods uh, for packing direct delivery system can be employed and encapsulation uh, or uh, the making the synthetic seed synthetic seed we can use for the uh, somatic embryo as a making the synthetic seed uh, sodium alginate and calcium chloride solutions we can develop the synthetic seed synthetic seed just like a just like a seeds and we can uh, show in the direct in the field here the provide the important imp uh, import uh, uh, important source for the analysis of molecules and biochemical uh, events that occur during induction and maturations of embryo isolation of specific storage protein is possible and it shorten the breeding cycle of deciduous plant deciduous plants uh, this type of plants uh, the leaf falls in in a year and the growth is uh, very slow in the nature in vivo and increase the germination of hybrid embryo uh, where delay germination of seeds is a significant handicap of rooting of the plant of horticulture intact next the overall uh, flow chart of the somatic embryogenesis in comifera vitae here we can collect the in vivo plants this is the in vivo plants uh, in vivo plants we collect the fruits fruits i will surface sterilize Uh, by mercury chlorides and uh, 70% alcohol and prepare the media media have a macro micro nutrients and vitamins and uh, uh, ph and sucrose here uh, after surface surface lies i will transfer the zygotic embryo di dissect the seeds and separate the um, zygotic embryo transfer on induction media and after 3 to 4 week the zygotic embryo initiate the callus 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 is the undifferentiated mass of the meistematic tissue meistematic tissue here after 4 to 5 week the callus the change in the induction of somatic embryogenesis embryogenic callus here this is the patch is the embryogenic callus and the development of embryo just like previous slides here the globular shape stage and torpedo this is the cotyledony stage and cotyledony stage embryo after maturation we germinate in the uh, hormone free media and develop the plantlets plantlets we after hardening and acclimatize this 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 all stage in the culture room and this stage plantlet to pot this is the hardening and acclimatization hardening and acclimatization in uh, 
uh, greenhouse and after three years we can easily plant it transfer in the field here the some plants show here the side direct somatic embryogenesis Se secondary somatic embryogenesis here in comifora variety we uh, the uh, quaternary embryo uh, for the germination uh, trans inoculate in the germination media but some percentage of quaternary stage embryo shown here the root shoot junctions is here develop the callus and some embryos develop the embryo embryo here the direct embryo the root shoot junction produce the direct somat secondary somatic embryogenesis uh, here the uh, multiplication or uh, secondary somatic embryogenesis uh, we, we can use this this is secondary somatic and we can develop the again the plant this is the indirect process this is the direct process oh thank you